What's up, Okami fans? This is Chris. Greg, a man here. And what are we doing here today? We're talking Okami HD, which is coming out very soon on PSN. And, uh, you know, this is one of the most beloved and beautiful games of probably the last 10 years. You may or may not know, it's also a very long game. I think my original playthrough clocked in at over 70 hours, which is a lot of content to go through, but there's actually a ton of cool stuff that happens just within the first hour of the game. So we thought we'd narrow our focus a little bit and just talk about the five best things about the first hour of the game. Yeah, so uh, myself, Greg, Yuri, Brett, and Tristan sat down with the first hour of the game and we all picked one individual specific thing that we loved about the first hour of Okami. I get to go first because mine's the most vague, but it's the most dear to me. Um, I'm a big animation fan, huge fan of Capcom's Disney Afternoon games, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, DuckTales, huge fan of stuff like that. So my whole life, I basically, all I want to do is play a living cartoon. But Okami, it reminds me of those old Disney Warner Brothers cartoons where like a character would step into a, a book, like a Christmas Carol of Oliver Twist, and interact with that book. It looks like Okami like stepped right into a, a Japanese painting. And the watercolors just come to life, and like everything in the environment looks as if it was painted a hundred years ago. Pretty much every moment in the game makes for a great still image. Seriously. I don't know, it's something so 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 something so fundamentally Bob Ross about mm -hmm. the whole thing. Yeah. Happy little trees, happy little dogs. Some people may know, I actually reviewed Okami when the first one came out on PS2 all those years ago, six years ago at this point, and uh, obviously I was very taken with it right away, and one of the first things I noticed, right when Amaterasu gets out on that field, the open field, and starts running around, you start seeing all these little details, like little flowers popping up, little lily pads that come up when you're in the water, and all these little flourishes, like leaves falling, like it's the season, like the season fall, leaves falling. Just all these little touches that make a, a good game great, and make a great game kind of outstanding and legendary. And Okami did this within the first 30 minutes, once you get past the whole opening, uh, it starts opening up to the field, and you get all this magic crammed into such a tiny moment, and that was a great indication of, of how creative and clever the game was going to be from that point all the way to the end. Um, just how much imagination is packed in. And again, first first hour of the game, it's an amazing, amazing trip. And uh, just seeing that like put me on the right place right away for the review. I'm like, oh, I'm, I know I'm going to love this. My favorite thing about Okami is the power slash and how you can slash pretty much everything. So it's interesting to find that with the power slash, you normally slash through things, cutting them in half or whatnot. But the developers went out and actually created little interactions with, with all sorts of other things. You're on the field and you slash this uh, sword rack and all the swords just go up in the air, fall perfectly to the ground, piercing it. On the top of the uh, Mr. and Mrs. Orange's house, there's a huge orange as well, and uh, you can slash that. So this orange juice would come out and hit the ground and little orange trees would pop up. So you get to use it as uh, a combat tool as well. But uh, it's introduced so early on in the game that there isn't a lot of combat going on and you're, you feel tempted, and I think developers did this on purpose, to try it out on everything. And you go out and you try it on trees and, uh, and signs and fruit and all sorts of things and surprisingly, something happens almost every time. I'm a big fan of the first encounter with Mr. and Mrs. Orange, who are two of the sort of integral characters you meet early on. They're sort of the godparents of Kamiki Village. They're, they just have a lot of quirks about them. They're really funny. Uh, Mr. Orange, he, he does this funky dancing. He's got an orange ex inexplicably attached to his head. Uh, and then you meet Mrs. Orange. She's also got an orange on her head. And uh, she initiates a series of really cool uh, events. Uh, first, you have to bring out the sun to help dry her laundry. And, uh, I think the first time, or one of the first times, that you actually get to use your brush technique that lets you actually draw a sun in the sky and change night into day. It's a really cool looking effect. Uh, then you have to actually rejuvenate her uh, laundry pole, which has gone missing. You just draw a little line and create a new laundry pole. It's really cool. Um, and it's just a great introduction to how uh, your brush techniques will affect the world around you. And then later, uh, she offers you these cherry cakes, and it turns into this really funny uh, Street Fighter reference. Um, yeah, I mean, my favorite thing is is this character. Um, it's it's Amaterasu um, as a dog, and yet not quite a dog. It's a very interesting protagonist. Um, that she's a dog, but it's also that you know, sort of during key moments, and usually during key extended like moments of dialogue, she'll, you'll, the camera will literally turn and she's asleep. And so it's this weird balance of it's the fate of the world and there's like this dark story and there's actually moments that are actually like pretty, pretty tense. And yet she's sort of 
subject to it, but also in many ways above it and very detached from it. And in some cases, she's just literally asleep because um, she is a dog. Um, and yeah, there's always this sense of, you know, she's sort of above it and she isn't a dog. She's the sun goddess on the and she sort of has it all together. And even when things are sort of looking dark, it's there's a sense that she's kind of on top of it and sort of this is all kind of playing out as she saw it anyway. And those are just our personal takeaways from the first hour of Okami. Obviously, you guys, uh, having played it or having not played it yet, will have many, many more. And we invite you to submit them to us via the video response button on this YouTube video. Right below, we would like to make a similar video to this using you and your video responses. So tell us what your favorite thing is about Okami, and hopefully we can put you up on CapcomUnity.com. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. And look for Okami HD on PSN on October 30th.